Hi everybody, welcome back. Today I will show you how to utilize the auto reframe feature of Wondershare Filmora which you can find on the welcome screen. With this feature you can do subject tracking and change the aspect ratio of your videos for TikTok, Instagram Reels or YouTube Shorts. So before I analyze you can actually set the motion tracking speed to fast or slow I will keep it at auto and uh, it will take just few seconds and this is how it works it is tracking the person walking on the beach the output aspect ratio is 9 is to 16 for YouTube shots or your TikTok shots it has now started tracking the bird so it works pretty good you can change the aspect ratio from here 1 is to 1 for maybe Facebook or any third party web page so let's analyze and see how it looks in 1 is to 1 aspect ratio and let's change the motion speed to fast let's hide the extra part and this is the output it gives you the impression that you are panning through the video so this is the output you can upload to your social media once you export the video you can simply replace the file no need to restart wondershare filmora again so there is another video a person walking on the beach once again so let's crop the video in 9 is to 16 for youtube shorts and analyze see what happens perfect it's trying to keep the whole subject in the frame that's why the frame is moving a little bit now the interesting part is you can adjust the frame manually whenever you want by dragging the frame with your mouse pointer and uh, moving the cursor do it for multiple frames very useful for multiple subjects which i will talk about in a minute so that's the final output after manual adjustments. Now I have imported a native short video and I want to convert it into one is to one. So let's see what happens. So it has basically added two blackbirds on both sides to make it one is to one. In this video, we have multiple subjects as you can see. The camera is in a steady position and there are four people so let's see what happens when we do it in 9 is to 16. So Wondershare Filmora is trying to capture the subjects as much as possible by moving the frame around the window. So it's basically doing the camera work for you. The output will look like somebody is actually moving the camera and capturing these people. So this is the output and it looks like this. Very, very natural and uh, nobody can tell you that this video was edited from 16 is to 9 to 9 is to 16. Now, does it really apply for people? I mean, Filmora comes with AI portrait mode, so it can detect people in the video. But what happens if we are trying to track any subject other than people? So let's see what happens here. So Filmora has intelligently identified the flower as the subject of this video and is trying to track the flower here is another video let's see what happens here we have sun and clouds moving the opposite direction so let's see how it can reframe the video so it's tracking the sun exactly what i was expecting from the software to do so this is the beauty of wondershare filmora you can check the final result here so with this Filmora, you can create YouTube shorts or TikTok videos from your normal YouTube videos in 16 is to 9. It's a very, very powerful tool and highly recommended. If you don't have Filmora already, check the description for the link.